If you're recently interested in AI art, you probably have a question. Can I sell it? And if yes, where I can do this? This is the same question I was asking myself and after the long search, I only found a bunch of guides that didn't give me any understanding how this market works and where I should start. So today, after two months of hard working, I'm going to tell you what to pay attention to and where to start your journey as digital art AI freelancer. Hello everyone, this is Still17. I'm a dependent musician, producer, part-time designer who has been in this field for more than 8 years. Today I decided to make a short video, especially for new buys, in which I will show you my personal top 5 sites where you can post and sell your AI art, build your portfolio, make some money, get some credits in this field. And I assure you after this video, you will no longer have any questions where and how sell your art. But before we move on, I will ask you to like this video and subscribe to this live channel, so as not to miss out a video about the design and artificial intelligence. This is my first video on this topic, so your likes will be main indicator for me. So thank for your attention, we are ready to work. So a little background about the situation. Over the last half year, whole internet was filled with this AI generated images. All stock sites, NFT resources, freelance platforms suddenly saw a new boom of cheap labor and millions of similar images that you can buy actually for nothing. Because of this massive AI hazing, many platforms are divided into two camps. The camp who suffered the new wave, and second one who blocked any content created by AI. Big monopoly platforms like Getty Image, Shutterstock do not allow you to upload and sell images generated in AI, explaining that, that AI uses content of different artists to create something new. So, and here is like copyright problems, which I personally think is absolutely absolutely bullshit. AI art is like a new change to a rather stagnant art business that the giants of the industry weren't ready for. By the way, write your comment what do you think about this problem, really interesting in your opinion and which camps are you prefer. But then sites like Adobe Stock, Etsy, Artstation, Redbubble and many more come into the background and give us the opportunity to sell and post AI art on their platforms. There are a lot of such platforms, but after a few months of work, I realized that most important thing to pay attention to in the first place is tendons of the platform, type of content popular on the platform, how is moderation of images working, and last but not least, what payment system used on this site. Why this criteria? When I started selling my first images on Adobe Stock and made a few accounts on the different topics, by the way, if you didn't see my last video about the Adobe Stock and how much you can get from the site monthly, you can just click on maybe some of there will be linked. You can check this video by the link in the pinned comment or in the description. So I faced with the problem that some content is sold worse and some content just even impossible to put on the site and some content is not moderated and staying in the review for months for months guys so i decided to look on other sites that fit my topics that fit my ideas and split the content across the multiple marketplaces and i found five good places where you can sell your art so let's get started first one Adobe Stock. It's a cool site, giant audience of the both buyers and sellers, cool community, fair competition, fast support, cool search and beat algorithms that allow you to sell images without the cost of advertising. Very easy to upload images, clear interface and account settings, awesome payment system, perfect for posting faceless images in business, technology, animation, graphics, commerce, architecture topics. Cons. Terrible moderation system. Because of the influx of artists and the moderation system by the real people, the moderation time for images has gone from 7 days to unrealistic 3 weeks. Some of my images have been under review by moderators for a month and no matter how many times I contact support, apparently nothing will change. So if you want to post a lot of images every day in a hope to increase the sales, here it is no longer working at all guys and you have to wait. The second platform, Redbubble. Redbubble is wow wow wow. In fact, it's already more of marketplace that gives you opportunity to apply your designs of hundreds of existing mockups. This is kind of platform called print to demand giant audience of both buyers and sellers, cool loyal community ready to give you likes on any images, quick support, cool statistic system for market analysis, you can see how many likes your image accumulates, you can track the trends, understand people, what they want, user friendly interface and account settings, super easy payment via PayPal, and this one is perfect for sticker box, seamless texture, poster images for everything, but stickers, this is the best. The cons of the platform, you need to really engage with your account, post images every day, experiment to get your first sales. 
because there are no algorithms like Adobe and you have to have a mind-blowing baggage and portfolio to move up the ladder. I will make a special video dedicated to Redbubble because these sites truly deserve attention. Third one. ArtStation. This is my favorite of all time. The most feature-rich platform for selling your art if you specialize in game dev or if you are a professional digital art designer and make 3D or your own brushes, this is a platform for you. Own community, in effect, its own social platform where you can make contacts, communicate, save, share your art with other artists, opportunity to create your portfolio on the site as well as find work related to digital art. Yes, guys, they have a job marketplace. ArtStation has the coolest mechanism for collecting statistics you can track like views, purchase, subscription, but further optimization. Of course, ArtStation has own print-on-domain mechanism that calls prints. You have an opportunity to put your image in a print and ArtStation takes all the function of the print house, typesetting, printing on any surface, payment, delivery to the client. They do everything, guys. But cones. The art station it's not only the marketplace. This is more like an ecosystem in which you need to understand, grow, find contacts, add not only the products but also your portfolio to find your niche and start selling your art. This platform is not talk of quick sales, the high competitiveness. There is a very high level of almost all artists here and to stand out out from the crowd you have to do something serious work. Plus, a complicated payment system, yes, you can get the money to your PayPal but also need to fill some tax documents. But guys, I really like this platform and I try to upload something every day. Even if it doesn't bring me anything, it's worth it. So the fourth platform. Etsy. Very similar platform to Redbubble, print-to-demand marketplace where you can sell in image packs as well as other digital products like texture, brushes and more. Perfect for hosting seamless texture, sticker packs, posters, images and so on. Giant audience, cool loyal community, cool advertising tools that are built right into the functionality of the site which will help increase your sales like dramatically. Cool stats system for market analytics and there is a support for browser extensions such as Everbee that allows you to view other seller stats. But all of this wonder has one big, big, big problem. Payment system. Etsy have invented their own payment system and if your country is not included in this list, you will not be able to become a contributor on the site. At the moment right now I live in Montenegro and sometimes in Serbia and both of these countries are not supported by Etsy. Etsy promised to add the list of the countries but when will it be? Who knows? So, Etsy. Fuck you. And the fifth one, last but not least, it's social media, guys. Yes, you can sell your AI art on any platforms forever. Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and so on. All of these sites work great with the hashtags and can give you great traffic to attract customers to your profile on other platforms to later sell your work. I run a Pinterest page myself. After two or three tweets and a couple of pictures on the Pinterest, a lot more people visit my art station profile, which means my page becomes interesting for promotion by the platform itself. The most important thing here is to activate your business accounts to watch the statistics and then it's up to you your fantasy and imagination it was my top five platforms the moment of may 2023 i personally use each of these platforms developing my portfolio in different areas of ai art i leave the link on my art station profile this platform interests me the most and i've started actively posting the content so subscribe to my account let's be the friends on this platform hit the likes on my works on my prints on my products or you can buy some prints on the product to support me so i will be appreciated for that so if you are interested in the videos in this subject hit the like and subscribe on the channel so that i keep you informed how where to sell your ai art because i know for sure like 100 that my top may change in any time in a few days in a few weeks in a few months thank you for watching this video i hope it was informative and useful for you and now you have an idea of where and how to sell your ai art this was still 17 see you next week bye